Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. This is part 2 of Anatomy of Bones in the Foot. You can find the link of part 1 of the video in the description. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. In previous part of this video, we were discussing about the tarsal bones. So let's continue with the other tarsal bones. Starting with the calcaneus. Calcaneus is the largest tarsal bone. It forms the prominence of the heel. This part of the heel is the prominence formed by the calcaneus. And the body of the bone has six surfaces. The anterior surface is small. It has a concave or convex articular surface for the cuboid bone. The posterior surface forms the calcaneal tuberosity. The medial surface has a prominence of bone called as sustentaculum tali. Its inferior surface is marked by the groove for tendon of flexor hallucis longus. The lateral surface is rough and almost flat. There is a small elevation termed as fibular trochlea. The superior surface bears three talar articular facets, anterior, middle and posterior that articulate with the corresponding facets on the talus. The middle facet is separated from the posterior facet by a deep groove called the calcaneus sulcus. And the inferior surface is rough. Let's have a look. This is the inferior view of calcaneus. And this shaded part which you can see is the articular surface for cuboid bone. This is the calcaneal tuberosity formed by the posterior surface. Coming to the superior view of the bone. This prominence which you can see is the sustentaculum tally formed by the medial surface. We discussed that on the inferior surface of sustentaculum tally, there is a groove for tendon of flexor hallucis longus. So in order to see that groove, we need to see the inferior view of the bone. This is the groove for tendon of flexor hallucis longus. This is the lateral view of the bone. This small elevation encircled is the fibular trochlea that is present on the lateral surface. Coming back to the superior view. These are the anterior, middle and posterior talar articular surfaces. Lastly, this is the calcaneal sulcus that separates the middle talar articular surface from the posterior talar articular surface. Next tarsal bone is the navicular. The navicular bone is boat shaped. It is situated on the medial side of the foot, in front of the head of talus and behind the three cuneiform bones. The anterior surface is convex and divided into three facets for the three cuneiform bones. The posterior surface is concave and oval for articulation with the head of talus. The lateral surface bears a facet for the cuboid bone. The medial surface has a prominent tuberosity that is directed downwards. Let's have a look. This is the anterior view of the bone. And these three surfaces which you can see are the three articular surfaces for the first, second and third cuneiform bones. Next talar bones are the cuneiforms. There are three cuneiform bones, medial, intermediate and lateral. The medial cuneiform is the largest and the intermediate cuneiform is the smallest. They are situated in front of the navicular bone and behind the first, second and third metatarsal bones. Let's have a look. In this image, you can see these three bones are the cuneiforms situated behind the metatarsals and in front of the navicular. Last tarsal bone is the cuboid. The cuboid is the lateral bone of the distal row of the tarsus, situated in front of the calcaneus and behind the fourth and the fifth metatarsal bones. This bone is the cuboid, situated laterally to the lateral cuneiform. With this, we complete the tarsal bones and move to the next part, that is the metatarsals. The metatarsus is made up of five metatarsal bones, which are numbered from medial to lateral side. Each metatarsal is a miniature long bone that has a head, shaft and a base. Let's have a look. 
these five bones are the metatarsals this is the head placed distally this is the shaft and this is the base placed proximally the first metatarsal is the shortest thickest and stoutest of all metatarsal bones the second metatarsal is the longest the lateral side of the base of the fifth metatarsal has a large tuberosity this is the tuberosity last part of bones of the foot are the phalanges the phalanges of the foot are arranged on a pattern similar to that in the hand there are 14 phalanges in each foot two for the great toe and three for other toes let's have a look as you can see these shaded bones are the phalanges bones shaded in purple are the distal phalanges with yellow are the middle phalanges and with blue are the proximal phalanges the great toe is known as hallux in latin with this we complete the bones of the foot that is it for today guys don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on instagram